Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. And continuing the topic of uh, binary uh, coded decimal, to, uh, and now we see uh, its conversions. All right, uh, we see what we see B C D conversions. B C D conversions. So let's say the first that we see is the decimal to B C D. Decimal to B C D. Now, how do you convert? So we see it through an example. Let's say we have an example 17 in base 10, and we want its its BCD equivalent. So what do you do? You take single of them, all right? You take them each, and you uh, you write its BCD equivalent, all right? You do what? You do one by one. One by one, all right? So so the so the uh, these are written over here, the decimal equivalents from 0 to 9, and we know that from 10 to 15, it's a don't care. From 10 to 15, it's a don't care, all right? So for 1, we have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and for 7, we have a 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is the BCD equivalent. All right, let's say we have, we have, 156, 156, and we want its uh, equivalent. So, so for 156, you do one by one again. So for one, we have a 0, 0, 0, 1. For five, we have 0, 1, 0, 1. And for six, we have a 0, uh, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0? Yes. All right. So this is very basic, we know, okay? Decimal to B, C, D. Now, if we have to convert from BCD to decimal, what do you do? From BCD to decimal. So, while converting from BCD to decimal, you make a group of fours. Okay? You make a group of fours because each, uh, uh, each uh, uh, decimal digit is represented by a group of four bits. Okay? So, we have an example, let's say, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So you make a group from left to right, from, from, from right to left, sorry, from right to left. This is important. From right to left. We know this. When there is a no decimal point, when we have a decimal point, you make it from left to right after the decimal, okay? So, so this is the first group of fours. And this is the second. Now we check in this table. 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1, and 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4. So we have its equivalent uh, decimal is 14. All right. Okay. Let's say we have we have a we have a number 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. All right. So now making a group of fours. This is the first group of four. This is the second group of four. So have a look. One zero zero one is nine, and and the zero one 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 is a seven. So this number is equivalent for ninety seven in base ten. Okay, let's talk about a packed BCD. What's a packed BCD? This is a packed BCD. But what is it? So let's let me tell you. Packed BCD. All right. So what is this? This is the, the, the BCD repre uh, representing numbers, BCD representing numbers greater than 9. This is called a packed BCD. So I was talking about this is a packed BCD 97. Okay, so this is a packed BCD. Now with the help of packed BCD, we can represent this 10 as well. So so what would be the decimal equivalent of, of uh, the, the BCD equivalent for 10? It would be, for 1, it is a 0, 0, 0, 1, and for 0, it is 0, 0, 0, 0. So the BCD equivalent for 10 is now an 8-bit number. From 0 to 9, it's 4 bits. After that, it's more than 4. So packed BCD is the BCD equivalent representing numbers greater than 9, all right? Now, if you compare, you compare binary and BCD, uh, binary versus BCD, I say. So, which one do you think is more efficient? 
Well, I believe that binary is more efficient because of what? Because of the number of bits is the first reason. Let's say I write the first reason to be the number of bits. All right. Now you see this is a four bits, but as you go on and on, the number of bits increases. And due to which we can write the second reason to be arithmetic operations become difficult. Arithmetic operations become difficult and difficult. Because when you're dealing with four bits, it, with one bit it's more easy, the two bits difficult, or three easy, more difficult, four bits more difficult, eight bits more difficult, 16. Think about the 100 bits. So this BCD is a little complicated. So we would be preferring what? We prefer the binary versus the BCD. All right. Let's say let's say we move on and we, we see just the BCD addition. So we come to know that it is it really is complicated a little. All right. So BCD addition now. Okay. So for addition, we have we have three rules to be followed. Okay. Now, uh, what are these three rules? So I'll write them down for you. Number one, if you have the sum less than nine and carry a final carry, final carry is zero. So the second, we have three cases, not rules, I would say. If the sum is uh, less than nine, with final carry equal to one, and the third case is the sum is greater than nine, and final carry is equal to zero. Uh, and here we have an included sign as well. So these are the three cases. Now if you get the first case, the sum is less than or equal to 9 and the final carry is 0. So your answer is correct. Answer is correct, I see. But here, if the sum is less than 9, final carry is 1. And if the sum is greater than 9, the carry is 0. You have your answer wrong. The answer that you got is wrong and to make it correct what do you do so let me write to make it correct add six to it to make your answer correct you add six to it all right is that clear okay so so let's say we have we have examples to to explain this okay So let's say we, we have the first example of 2 plus 6. Very simple, okay? Uh, 2 plus 6. We know this is equal to 8 from here, but, but we have to do it in the BCD. So 2 is 0010, zero, 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 and plus 0110. One, one, zero. The rules are the same, okay? 0 plus 0 is a 0, 0 plus 1 is a 1, 1 plus 0 is a 1, 1 plus 1 is a 1, 0, okay? So now have a look, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0 is 0 with 1 carry, 1, 1 is again 0 with 1 carry, and we have 1. So this is what? Now this is representing 8, which is less than 9, and final carry is 0, so this answer is correct. Okay? Let's say we have another example, it's 3 plus 7. Let's say we have 3 plus 7. This is equal to 10, we know, but... Uh, let's say we do it through this. So 3 is what? 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 7 is a 0, triple 1. So you add them to get a what? 1, 1 is a 0, 1 carry. Now 3 ones, you know, we have some 1 and carry 1. So 1, 1 is again a 0, and with 1 carry, we have 1. Now, now you do what? 1, 0, 1, 0 is not in this case. It is great. It is 10. We know it is 10, which means it is greater than 9. Uh, and the final carry, we don't have a final carry. So this is case number three, the answer is incorrect. This answer is incorrect. So add six. Adding six, all right? So six is what? Six is zero, one, one, zero. Zero, one, one, zero. Now we have zero, zero, zero. One, one is zero with one carry. One, one again, a, a, a zero 
with a one carry and one one again a zero with a one carry. Now the final carry comes out to be here. And there's nothing, so we write it like this. Now this is a five bit, but we need it in, uh, so, so B, C, D, this is five bits and we can make a group of fours to, to convert it to decimal. So, so this is the first group of fours and for the next we can add three zeros to the left and this is now a one zero in decimal. Now, a one zero in decimal is zero 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 one zero 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 in B C D. Is that clear? This is so. So the first case we're done. The third case we're done. Let's say we have another example. Eight plus nine. We have eight plus nine, and we know that would be equal to seventeen. Yes, seventeen. So eight is what? It's a one zero zero zero. And 9 is what? It's 1001. One. Uh, or, or let me write it a little there. So, one zero 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 and one zero zero one. Is it fine? Yes, it is. So, zero 01 is a 1, zero zero is a 0, zero, zero is a 0, 1 1 is a 0 with the final carry equal to 1. Now have a look. Now this is the sum, 0, 0, 0, 1. The sum is less than 9 and the final carry is 1. In this case, your answer is again wrong and you have to add 6 to it. Add 6 to it. So 6 is what? It's a 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, now 1, 0 is a... 1, 0, 1 is a 1, 1, 0 again, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1 over here. So this is the final answer, okay? Now this is the final answer, and to, and to, and to make it a decimal, we make a group of 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have 1, and so 3 zeros missing, we add 3. So, so this would be a 1, okay? This, this says 1, and this 0, 1, 1, 1 from this table is a 7, which means we got it correct. Right? Let's have a little complicated example. So I, I remove this. Or let's say I remove all of it. So the, uh, the question is let's say 57 plus 26. What do you do now? 57 plus 26. Okay, so you do what? You, you write them in their BCD form. 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1, and you're adding 26. So 26 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Is that fine? Yes, it is. So you add them, okay? Now 1, 0 is a 1. 1, 1 is a 0 with 1 carry, so 3 ones have a sum 1 and a carry 1. Now we have a 1 here, 1, 0 again, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 0 is a 0. All right, clear? So, so now have a look, this is a group of, of, of 8, okay? We have an 8-bit number, so we check for each group of 4s. We check for each group of 4s, so this is the first group of 4s. And over here we have the second group of fours. All right, now if you check over here, one, one, zero, one, so this is greater than nine. This is greater than nine. And what is this? You know from the decimal conversions, to the power zero, to the power, uh, one, to the power two, to the power three. So this is eight plus four, 12, and this is 13. This is 13. And this is uh, one and two, uh, three and four, seven. So this is correct, this is correct. But we have a problem over here that the sum is greater than 9. Now, these four bits fall in the category number 3 that sum is greater than 9 and the final carry is 0. Now, what do you do? To make it correct, you add 6 to it. You know very well. So, let me remove this and we add 6. We add 6 to the whole, okay? Not to these four. You have to, you have to remember, you have to remember that you check for each four bits. And you add 6 to the whole. Let me repeat. You check for each 4 bits. And you add 6 to the whole. 
So, so six is what? It's a zero, or it's a zero one one zero. Okay. So now one zero is a one. Zero one is a one. One one is a zero with a one carry. One one is again zero with a one carry. One one is again zero with a one carry. One one is again zero with a one carry. One one is again zero with a one carry. And finally, one zero is a one. Now this seems to be the final answer. And let us check. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So this now zero, zero, one, one is a three. And one, zero, zero, zero is an eight. So which means we got the answer to be 83 in, in, in what? In BCD. This is the BCD. And 57 plus 26 is what? 50 plus 70 is 20. And then we have a 27, uh, 77, and then we have 83. So which means this is absolutely correct. All right. So, so we saw uh, the BCD addition. That was the basics of the BCD. And we are done with the BCD. And that's all for today. And uh, that's all about BCD as well. Still, if you have any question, any doubt in your mind, you may ask it in the comment section. And do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook as well. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.